My name is Aaron Gerds, and I'm the Editor-in-Chief of Ash Clinical News. Welcome to this month's From the Desk Of. Well, we're just putting the finishing touches on this month's, the June edition of Ash Clinical News. And our feature article is about home hospitals. It goes without saying that the pandemic changed so many things in our lives. Day-to-day -day things, work things, home things. And one of the things within medicine that has changed is the shift, the idea that we can take care of patients outside of the hospital. When those hospitals filled up, we look for ways to connect with patients virtually in their homes. And home hospitals are really born out of that idea where a patient stays at home and recovers or gets well from their condition while we use technology to monitor them more closely and connect with them. Maybe a visiting nurse comes, sets up a blood pressure monitor, or a glucose monitor, or other things and you know we can keep them out of the inpatient setting and this is becoming more and more relevant for patients who are undergoing cancer treatments and hematologic malignancy treatments and so something that is rapidly developing and again accelerated by the pandemic so we wanted to take a closer look at this home hospital idea another thing that was very popular during the pandemic was city chickens or raising chickens and you don't have to be a chicken to read our article about dr coombs and her little bivy of chickens that she took care of that helped her through a rough time and really provided a lot of companionship and uh, a wonderful activity for her and her family. And you can bet your schnitzel that in hematologic obscura we're covering schnitzler syndrome which is a monoclonal gammopathy and auto-inflammatory condition. So these key articles along with our literature scans are written in blood and blood advances in a different vein are all covered in the June 2023 issue of Ash Clinical News. And we're, we're absolutely thrilled to bring it to you uh, as it will come off hot off the presses in a few weeks. So I hope you enjoy reading it as much as we enjoyed putting it together. So until next time, keep the blood pumping.